Hi there. I'm Francesca Ordonia Hollingsworth, and I'm your Prosperity Path Guide. And I help you learn how to read your Prosperity Path through the cutting edge of divination arts. And today I'm going to share with you one of those pathways. And it is through astronumerology. In fact, it's going to be through May 4th, Taurus New Moon astronumerology. And I'm going to start with Beauty, the inside story of Reset Your Inner Compass. Can I ask you a question, Voice? Asked Clacy. Sure, said Voice. Why do I feel so dislocated? Like I'm in search of something, like freedom. In my mind, it's going and chattering a mile a minute, and it's filled with chaotic noise, and it tells me I'm gonna go this way, and to go that way, and I don't know what to do. I just don't know where to act, or how to act, said Clacy. Well then, if you are dislocated, you are in search of unity. Unity? said Clacy. Yes, unity. Unity from your mind, body, and spirit. You are in search of your home, replied Voice. My home? Well, then how do I find my home? asked Clacy. Voice replied, reset your inner compass. So are you ready to reset your inner compass? Cool. So let's start by de-stressing before we go and find out what the May 4th new moon has, shall we? Cool. Let's get started. Close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. And imagine at the base of your spine you have a cord. And take that cord and send it to the earth and then send it deep, deep, deep down into the ground. Sending your grounding cord all the way to the center of the earth. And connect yourself to your special spot that no one else can possess. And when you've done that, take another deep cleansing breath. And imagine that breath is going up your back to the top of your head, then down the front of you to the tips of your fingers and then down to the base of the spine and out your grounding cord. Take one more deep cleansing breath, collecting all of your stress, letting it go out your grounding cord, and then go ahead and open your eyes and we will begin. Are you ready? Cool. So what voice does this Taurus new moon have for you? Well, first of all, let's start with where the moon and the sun are, which is your inner light and your outer light. And both of them are sitting together. They're being partners and they are at 14 degrees in Taurus. So the number 14 is about freedom. And the sign of Taurus is about sensuality and it is also about the earth. It is also about Mother Earth. So this is a Mother Earth frequency of freedom. Now, the next thing you want to know is what planets are playing out, having fun with the sun and the moon. And the first one I'm going to talk to you about is about the trio. And the trio are three or actually two planets and an asteroid, and they are Pluto at 23 degrees. Pluto is the planet of group consciousness. That's the short keyword I want to let you know about today. Saturn is at 20 degrees, and it is the law enforcer. And then we have the south node, and that is at 19 degrees. And all three of them are playing out together in Capricorn. The sign of ambition, the sign of setting a foundation and to build. So 
So what are we going to build or what are you going to build at a group conscious level? level? What are you going to, what are the rules and the laws that are showing up for you and making you do stuff? Meaning not literally the laws, but your, the way you run your life. And then the question also with the South Node is what feels really familiar with you in the area of creating a foundation and building as well as ambition? So that this trio here, they are singing with the frequency of realism and the frequency of aspiration. And aspiration is your calling or your desire to move towards spirit. Now the other planet in play, because how I like to say, the sun and the moon are pointing nicely to the trio out in Capricorn. And then there is also another planet, which is Neptune, the planet of dreams. And it is at 19 degrees in Pisces, its home sign. So Pisces is the intuitive sign and it is about dreams and imaginations. And Neptune is about dream and imaginations. And the 19 degrees is about confidence and leadership from the place of wisdom. So we are talking about the dream, the wisdom of dreams. Now, there is another set of planets that get activated because of Neptune, and that is super duper exciting. It is Mars. Mars is at 22 degrees in Gemini. And 22 degrees is the um, is a manifesting number. It is the master of building and creating peace and manifesting it into matter. And it is the frequency of discrimination. So we are being asked to discriminate between what is working for you and what is not working for you? What is no longer serving you and what is serving you? And the last planet in play, well, actually all the planets are always in play, but the one that activates and gives a huge big bonus to them all is Jupiter. And Jupiter is at 23 degrees in Sagittarius, which is super duper exciting because Again, Jupiter is, we have another planet at home in their home sign. So Jupiter is celebrating at 20, excuse me, so Jupiter is celebrating at 23 degrees in Sagittarius with the voice of light. So it's shining, it's huge, bright light on all of the planets in play on this. And so what, let me put this all together for you. And that is with this Taurus new moon, we have the new seeds that will help create unity within and without, I mean, inside as well as outside. And how you can create the unity for yourself is through reaching, building with your aspirations, not building from the area of greed or the vibration of greed, but of what you aspire to, what your spirit is asking, asking you to move towards. And to be conscious of what is real and what is not in the global conscious vibration. Meaning kind of like what is happening on the global stage and what is real and what isn't and how is it serving you and how is it not serving you and taking the action of discrimination, meaning taking the action of discriminating what is working for you and what is not working for you. And to move towards the wisdom of your dreams. And last 
but not least, we wanted to look at Venus and because Venus is the ruler of this entire lunation because Venus rules Taurus. And what is that all about? Well, Venus is at 17 degrees in Aries and that is the vibration of awakening. So, this is a new moon, meaning new seeds and new opportunity that will awaken you towards uniting your body, mind, and spirit through the wisdom of your dreams, through ascending through your aspirations, you, what you, your spirit is calling you towards. And grounding them into realism, not into fantasy, but grounding them and taking the action of discrimination, which is taking the action of defining and putting on your table what is real and what works for you and letting go of what is no longer serving you. So have a great, great time planting the new seeds into your world that will unite your body, mind, and spirit. And that is it for today. Catch you next time at the full moon. Bye for now.